What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. We have some more Bolt action for you guys and this is one of the newer releases here. This is the Soviet Army Anti-Tank Teams which uh, includes um, the uh, bomb dogs here which uh, while it might be historically accurate not too keen on uh, using a dog as an explosive but um, nonetheless we get um, a little bit of everything here. So we get some spotters, um, AT rifle, um, it's actually what we get down here, uh, two, two man anti-tank rifle team, two dog mine teams and a three man ampulomate, uh, team there, plus the basis for it there. So I'm not too familiar with what the amp, what is it? Ampulomate, uh, actually was, I have to look that up, but the, um, uh, the anti-tank rifle team looks pretty badass there. Um, and then the dog team looks pretty cool too. Um, but again, um, uh, Using them as actual uh, bombs, um, I mean, might be okay in the game, but uh, that, not something I like, uh, uh, you know, would contemplate in like uh, a real scenario or anything like that, um, hopefully. But um, anyway, uh, we'll get this open for you guys and we'll take a look. Alrighty guys, we're back and we got everything open up for you. Uh, right here. So our two dog teams, um, let's get this in focus for you guys. Uh, oops. There we go. So we get the first one here uh, with the handler. Um, so that. And again, let's see if we can't just get a actual better focus. There we go. Um, so we got the one, and then the other one's kind of standing up uh, with the bombs strapped to it. So again, you get two of those. Um, not sure how effective they'll be in the rules. I um, haven't actually looked at the Soviet list in a while. Love, love this uh, spotter here for the uh AT rifle team that is just fantastic um and I hope Warlord does more like scenic things like that that's that's just absolutely fantastic he's got a submachine gun on his back just peeking over some rubble really great stuff there the accompanying um AT rifle um so you got a bit of again rubble here that he's kind of propping the gun up to and then just to show you, you got a Peel back here a little bit, get it all in the frame. So that AT rifle is just honking big here. A um, little bit of warpage, but that's all right. Um, but yeah, that that's a gun. Yeah. So I forgot what the uh, AT bonus on these things is. I imagine probably something like a light AT gun. Um, but probably a little bit more limited range. But hit us up in the comments down below. If you have the Soviet book handy and know what the stats are on these things, it'd be really interesting to know. But that's uh, absolutely bonkers there. Love those two things right there. So good stuff there. And then the ambulance team here looks like some sort of mortar looking thing or some sort of like small recoilless rifle. I'm really not sure what it is. Um, like what it, what it actually uh, would be classified as. Um, but, and then we got the rest of the team here with uh, their uh, weapons as well. So, looks like a submachine gun on this guy. And again, by and large, just about everything is one piece here, except for some um, metal heads to, to add to various uh, members here of the set. And um, another one here loading it, it would seem, and then the gunner himself kind of um, crouching. Uh, crouching, but rather prone behind it. But yeah, so really neat set here for the Soviets. Gives you a little bit of everything. Again, um, uh, again, depending on if that thing's like direct or indirect fire, but you have that. You have the AT rifle team, which is, uh, I think, for me at least, star of the show here. Just um, I love the, the scenic nature of that. Uh, and then the two bomb dogs. Um, again, really cool stuff that they're um, giving you that option. Um, but, um, I don't know if I would actually run it just, uh, even though it is a game, don't like the idea of using a dog as a, as a, as an explosive weapon, but, um, you know, um, it's, it's all a game. So, uh, but if it's, if it's effective, um, that's, I guess what would matter for the game purposes. But, um, anyway, so yeah, you get two of those that should be plenty. Um, I'm not sure again, how many of the Soviets, uh, get to actually use in a list, but for uh, just being the one little box set here, uh, again, you get a little bit of everything. And um, being able to uh, 
Oh, I guess actually just reading the, the box here. So the ampulament was a strange mortar-like device which threw a glass ball containing phosphorus and sulfur up to 400 yards very inaccurately. Um, good lord. Uh, all right, so now we know what that is. Um, so now I'm even more curious to see what that thing actually does in game, what the rules are for it. So, um, but anyway, yeah, it gives you a little bit of everything for your Soviets here. Um, usable, you know, at uh, essentially all stages of the war. So, um, you're not restricted to, you know, um, a particular time, uh, in the war and, um, you know, it'll have different roles depending on when and, uh, where and what list you're running it in, uh, and what lists have access to it for the Soviets. But anyway, definitely something cool for those, uh, Soviet players out there. Let us know in the comments, guys, if you've already picked one up, what your thoughts are, or if you're planning on getting one, um, uh, let us know. Um, and, uh, if you, uh, have had success with any of those three weapon systems that you get here in this set. So hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.